All right, so this video is going to go over the lab equipment worksheet. So tomorrow in lab, you are going to go through various stations, and at each station you will have a card that looks similar to this one here. This is your first station, and the first piece of equipment that you might look at will be goggles. Goggles are used to protect your eyes from splashing chemicals or hot liquids. In the lab tomorrow, you will practice putting the goggles on properly and what that means. The second station that you'll get to are the tongs. Tongs are used to grip hot objects in order to move them to a cooling off area. This is used usually for beakers or test tubes in the lab. However, in your lab tomorrow, you are going to use the tongs to pick up cotton balls or fuzzy objects and move them from one box to another. And you will time yourself and your partner. The third piece of equipment we're going to look at is the electronic balance. The balance measures the mass of an object on the pan and you're going to use the tear button to zero out the balance before measuring mass each time. You want to zero the balance each time, that way we know we're getting an accurate mass. For the lab tomorrow, you're going to be finding the mass of a toy car, and then your partner will also find the mass to make sure that you're both getting the same measurement and you agree. Next, you'll be looking at the beaker. The beaker provides an approximate measurement of a liquid's volume and not exact measurement. Beakers are measured in liters, abbreviated with an L, or milliliters, abbreviated with an ML. Tomorrow in the lab, you'll be measuring the volume of a liquid in a beaker. Remember, it's not exact, and make sure you pay attention to what units the beaker uses. After that, you'll look at the thermometer. A thermometer measures temperature, typically reported in degrees Celsius when we're doing scientific investigations, like in the lab. For the lab tomorrow, you're going to read the thermometer in both degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. And then you'll check with your partner and see if they agree on your readings. Next, you'll be using a ruler. A ruler measures length or distance. Measurements are recorded in millimeters, mm, centimeters, cm, or meters, m. In your lab tomorrow, you're going to be measuring the length of an index card at your table using your ruler. You're going to find the length in millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Don't use inches. Another piece of equipment that we use in lab is the graduated cylinder. A graduated cylinder measures the volume of the liquid it contains. This is much more accurate than a beaker. To measure using a graduated cylinder, you need to view the liquid from eye level. This is called the meniscus. That's the curved part of the surface. Tomorrow in lab, you'll practice reading the volume using a graduated cylinder. Make sure that you are looking at eye level and reading at the meniscus. The Erlenmeyer flask is a piece of equipment that's used to hold chemicals. It has a cylindrical neck that allows liquids to be stoppered or swirled. In the lab, you're going to practice swirling the liquid in the Erlenmeyer flask. You will also try swirling the contents in a beaker and a flask and compare the difference. A spring scale is a piece of equipment that's used to measure the amount of force acting on an object. Force is a measurement of push or pull and it's measured in newtons, which is abbreviated with a capital N. Tomorrow in the lab you will practice finding the amount of force pulling down on an object, so you'll hook the spring scale onto the object and let the object hang down to measure that pulling down force. You will also hook an object to the spring scale and pull it along the table to measure that pulling force. A funnel is a pretty commonly used equipment. 
It helps transfer substances into a smaller mouth container and prevents spills. Tomorrow you'll use the funnel to transfer a liquid from a graduated cylinder into a flask and then back into a graduated cylinder. The hot plate is a piece of equipment that's used to heat chemicals or other lab objects. It's usually powered with electricity and the ones we use are going to be plugged into the wall. When you get into the lab tomorrow, you need to examine the hot plate, how it is plugged in and how it is being used safely at the lab station. Examine the wire and how it is either safe or unsafe and also make sure that the wire is not touching the hot part of the hot plate. You will also be looking at a beaker of water on the hot plate and recording the temperature of that water. A test tube is a piece of lab equipment that holds chemicals and it's usually a small glass tube with a stoppered end. These are used for smaller amounts of chemicals what you're going to be doing in the lab tomorrow is examining the test tube and then you will use a graduated cylinder to measure out five milliliters of water and pour that five milliliters into the test tube. A test tube clamp is a piece of equipment that is used with a test tube. It holds the test tube when it contains dangerous chemicals or hot liquids. So it helps you hold the test tube when you don't actually want to touch the glass. Tomorrow in the lab, you'll practice picking up the test tube with the test tube clamp. And you will think about possible times when this would be a good idea to use a test tube clamp. A test tube rack is used to hold test tubes upright and level in a laboratory. This could be used for lots of different things, but it's mainly used to hold all the test tubes together in a line to compare them or just to hold them upright so that you don't have to hold on to many test tubes at once. In the lab tomorrow, you're going to practice moving the test tubes from the opening side of the test tube rack to the post side of the test tube rack. A test tube brush is a brush with bristles used to clean glassware. It is thin enough to fit into a test tube, but it can be used for any lab equipment. We use our test tube brushes for beakers and flasks and all sorts of other things. In the lab tomorrow, you will use a test tube brush to practice cleaning a test tube gently, and that way you know how to do it in the future. The last piece of equipment will be the ring stand. A ring stand, along with a ring clamp, is used to hold glassware or other equipment off of the lab bench. This is often used to heat something over a heat source. In the lab tomorrow, you will be putting together the ring stand with a ring clamp, and you'll be resting a weigh boat on top of the ring, and then measuring the height of that weigh boat using your meter stick. Make sure that you come to class prepared tomorrow wearing long pants and closed toed shoes so that you can participate in using all of these pieces of equipment.